softball. I fell in love with you when I was a little girl, always carrying around my glove, throwing tennis balls off the wall, and hitting with my dad in the park. I played with the boys when there was no softball, and then finally switched over once recruiting started, and that's when it started to get serious. I hungered for competition and strived for excellence, but for a while, you were something that my hands had such a tight grip on. My identity was tied so tightly to a game that leads to failure almost all of the time, and I rode the roller coaster of emotions. Then I met Jesus. I learned I have a loving father who died for my sins and has a plan for my life, a plan to give me a hope and a future. My perspective changed when I realized you were just something I did, not who I was. Jesus tells me who I am and I wanted to bring this light into the softball world and play the game differently. I was so blessed to have the opportunity to attend the best university in the country and play for the best program imaginable. Yes, winning a few national championships and winning some personal honors is amazing and I will never take that for granted. But it is so much greater than what goes on on that dirt. First, I have met some of my best friends and my future husband at OU. Praise the Lord. But even more so, the Lord has given me a platform to shine a light that the world tries to dim. The expectation is to idolize you, and the promise is that true joy comes from reaching a goal that you have put all of your effort into. Yes, we as Christians are expected to work hard at all that we do for Christ, but the real victory has already been won on the cross, Jesus dying for my sin and saving me. Because of this, I have an eternal hope that allows me to play your game free with fullness of joy that comes only from the Lord. With this mindset, I have played the most joyful softball the last five years. What's crazy is that this joy doesn't come after big wins, home runs, championships, etc., because all of those things will fade away. I am filled with a steadfast joy when I see one of my teammates decide to get baptized and become a sister in Christ. I will never forget worshiping with my teammates, singing the song Nobody in center field after winning the second national championship. God is so awesome. My prayer when I started college was that I could be a vessel that the Lord uses in his kingdom to bring others to know him. As I leave college softball, I pray that others can know how loved they are by the creator of the world and that Jesus can use you in mighty ways. You just need to be willing and obedient. I'll end with one of my favorite verses, Romans 8, 28. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Sincerely, Grace Lyons.